Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about screwdrivers today. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, we're looking at the screwdriver drawer. Looks uh, a little bit different than it has. Did some reorganizing and that was due to the acquisition of quite a few new screwdrivers. Get back over here. If you remember from old videos, I used to have a bunch of T-handles and, and my pick set and everything in here. and Got too many screwdrivers. They had to find a different home in another open drawer. But uh, recently ordered some German screwdrivers from KC Tool. Uh, we'll take a look at those. But first... I did also buy <clears throat> from on Prime Days. I bought the I'll set it up here. I bought the Hodo Precision Screwdriver. Saw a little bit about it on uh, on YouTube. Thought it looked kind of cool, so I thought I'd get one. Yeah, I just dropped it right before I started filming. So those are all those nice little dings on the aluminum. But yeah, I it is a pretty cool screwdriver. Let me just go to the screwdriver drawer for the overview, huh? That makes sense. Yeah, it is a pretty cool screwdriver. Um, I like the cap. That's what people have said. The cap, the cap spins. It spins really easy. All the bits are held in this uh, little cartridge here that's also magnetic. It has all sorts of bits. Some torques down there. Some really goofy ones that I've never seen before. Torques, square. I think there's some hex in there. Some more torques. And then there's some Phillips and some flat. Too. It's really cool how the built bits are headed, held in there. There's just a magnet in here that holds them in. Anyways, we'll put a bit in. This is the one thing I didn't like, but I mean, you can't be too picky for the price. I think with Prime Day, I paid $16 for this thing. What I don't like is the bit doesn't fit very tight. Um, I have used it. It doesn't slip or anything. It just doesn't fit super tight in there. But like I said, you can't be too picky for the price. But it is a is a cool little little precision screwdriver. There is a magnet in there. Um, I have seen one review that said that there. Since being double-sided bits like that, they fall down into a different hole, a different recessed hole that's not true. If you can see, there's there's a magnet down there in there, and there's a mark on the magnet. But just the tip of the bit is held by that magnet. So there's also a magnet in there, which holds the bit cartridge. Holds it pretty good, so... But yeah, I think this will come in handy. Um, I used it on some glasses, and and uh, I think it'll be really handy for electronics and and stuff like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. I do have some more stuff ordered uh, from Amazon, um, but we'll uh, we'll discuss that one. Hopefully, it comes later this week. Anyways, screwdrivers. Let's get back over here. <coughs> so, like I said big order from KC Tool, and it was all screwdrivers. Um, did get the stickers, because it was over 100. We also got the bit, which is a whip bit. Kind of cool. Well, this whole row, starting with here, all the way down to that one, was all from KC Tool. So we'll, we'll get started here and we'll just kind of go over them. 
First one here is a really cool screwdriver. It's the number one Godore Phillips. It's got a kind of a different shape, kind of square. Um, I don't think, let me get her to focus here. Yeah, there's no sort of uh, gripping on the tip. And as you can see, I, these just came in last, like last Friday, I think. So I uh, haven't, haven't had a chance to use them yet, but uh, it does feel pretty good. It's not the most comfortable of the ones I bought, but it does feel pretty good. It's just sticky. Um, this is all the gray is the rubbery parts and the blue is plastic, but uh, no bolster or anything. But yeah, pretty cool screwdriver. This thing, that one wasn't that expensive. I should have, should have planned ahead or thought ahead a little bit and got your prices, but uh, these were all a bit, all ordered on KC Tool, except for this Weeha right here. Uh, that one was not. We'll go into that. Anyways, this thing, <clears throat> I think was like $17. <coughs> so, but yeah, really cool screwdriver. The next is the Stawilla 3K, number one. Again, I don't think, I don't think this one has any sort of gripping either. Doesn't look like it. But this is an even different handle, and I'm pretty sure these um, these screwdrivers are made by Wit. So this screwdriver is super light, probably the lightest. The the Heiko down there might be just as light or maybe a little lighter, but this is a really light screwdriver. And another another weird handle shape, kind of like a like a teardrop kind of. But uh, it does, does feel pretty good. But again, just got them, haven't used them. It is pretty neat screwdriver though. Next are the, the Wit Max Pro, or Max Plus, sorry. Pretty sure these are the Max Pluses. Um, these will are the same screwdriver as the Matco screwdrivers. So, uh, Bought the whole set. The whole set was really reasonable. This 3K Staw Stawilla uh, was. I'm not. I'm done giving prices. I don't remember. Uh, but I do know this one was this uh, wit set was uh, like forty dollars. I think. So um, there's the handle shape. More of a a typical screwdriver handle shape does say the have size markings on the end uh the Godore Godore does also the Stawilla does not but uh they've got just like the Stawilla um got the microfiber pads in the handle no uh no barcode which is kind of neat for the for a German one but yeah, it does feel pretty good. Um, feels a lot like, or similar, similar to an older, an older Snap-on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's a little bigger, I guess. But they're, well, maybe, maybe I'm thinking more of the, more of the newer Snap-on. Yeah, a similar grip to the newer Snap-on. I would say, I think this one's more comfortable. The Wit is more comfortable just because you've got a lot more square edges on the Snap-on. I'd say the Wit to me is more comfortable. But uh, bought the whole set of these. Came with, uh, let's see here, three flat screwdrivers and <clears throat> two Phillips. 
Again, these have markings on the end, real nice and big, easy to read markings. Next, we bought a Hazette number two. This was an expensive screwdriver. Um, not 100% sure, but just looking at some of the pricing on the Hazette stuff, they seem to me more like the Snap-on in Germany because uh, they are, are pretty expensive. This screwdriver was not cheap. So, but more of a big handle. This one kind of more reminds me, other than it being more of a bulb teardrop design, it feels a lot like the older Snap-on ones, kind of thin down here and big, like where it would be in the palm of your hand. But uh, yeah, kind of excited to, to use this one. Um, nothing on the tip of that one either. But that's the Hazette number two. Um, I guess I forgot I had the PB in here. Um, pretty sure, sorry, pretty sure we've talked about the PB Swiss already. I have used this one, um, worked just fine, bit really good. So I think this PB Swiss, uh, screwdriver, I like the smaller handle on it like this. You can get more of a full grip around it. This is a number two. Uh, I think this is a great screwdriver. Ah, uh, next is the Weeha 3K ACO screwdriver. This would be the anti-cam out screwdriver. So, I don't know how close we can get before it starts to, there we go. There you can see some lines in there. That's what that means. So it's supposed to bite into the screwdriver a lot like the, um, a lot like the Wera screwdrivers and the vessels. So uh, this screwdriver feels really good in your hand too. Um, there's all the markings, nothing on the end of the handle, but it does feel good. Um, yeah, this has got a different grip because it's kind of thin, gets a little bigger, and then it gets pretty big right there. So I don't know. Yeah, it does, it does feel pretty good. So we'll have to eventually see how that one works out. I did get a Wera to use. We got a number one stainless. Um, and I guess the reason I went with the stainless, something a little more expensive than just the regular craft form, I like the light blue and the black. I think that's pretty neat. This one's got a laser tip. The Wera, as you can see, real easy. So yeah, you know, I love I love the way the wearers fit. Um, I like these screwdrivers a lot. Marking, yeah, I think these are awesome. Next is the the Filo Ergonic number one. This one has a similar profile to the Wera, and I like this one a lot too. I think this one fits really nice. I do not like the Hazette. I think I should have maybe gotten a number one Hazette, but I don't think KC Tool had one. So I went with the number two. Maybe that one would feel a little better. I think the handle's way too big on the Hazette. So don't like the way that one feels. But this uh, this uh, Filo Organic is really nice. Light screwdriver. Um, I didn't, didn't mention in some of these the the uh, Stawilla 3K has no rubber. Uh, it just has this pad here. The wit, um, the black, is more of a, a stickier uh, material. The blue is plastic, and then it's got the felt. The Hazette, the blue, is hard, and the black is rubbery. The PB Swiss, the red is rubbery. The yellow is hard. Um, uh, the Weeha, the black is rubbery, the gray is hard, the Weeha, the black is hard, and the light blue is rubbery. So, anyways, back on track. 
uh, yeah, the black's all rubbery, the yellow's hard, but it does feel great. Uh, I don't think this thing has any sort of grip. No, it does not. Does have doesn't have the size, but it does tell you what type of screwdriver it is, which is nice. But I like I like the feel of the Philo. Next, we've got the Heiko, which is I don't know. This has a huge resemblance to the Philo, and I could be wrong, but it sure seems like. Uh, these are the same screwdriver, but uh, even down to like where the black, you see where the yellow does that too. That's, they're pretty pretty similar. Uh, the green is kind of a stickier, stickier uh, material. No marking on the end. No grip, I don't think either. No grip, but uh, again, light feels really good so I like uh, I like the Heiko also next uh, last weekend we went up into South Dakota to a water park and uh, South Dakota's got these stores called runnings and they're kind of like a, they're kind of like to us uh, like a bomb guards kind of like a farm supply uh, kind of like an ace, like a hardware store, uh, got stuff like that. And I think they, they, uh, they inventory their store based on their, uh, their surroundings and stuff. So, uh, the one we went to in Vermilion, South Dakota, <clears throat> had a lot of farm stuff, tools, things like that. They carry Philo stuff. So I had already gotten the Ergonic couple days before so they had just their regular hard handle and this was a cheap screwdriver this thing was like three and a half four dollars so I thought what the heck we'll pick it up super light hard handle uh, no marking on the end but they do have a marking right there tell you what it is uh, but yeah I thought this would be you know if you need a bang up screwdriver you know not something Super expensive, but still quality. So, pick that up. And also, hadn't heard of this, but this is a black diamond screwdriver. They were also selling these there. I think this was maybe a little more expensive than the Philo. Um, so, the black and the blue is hard plastic. The gray is a rubbery material. They have the marking on the end, which is super cool. Uh, kind of like a hex, well, hex at the end, but kind of a hex throughout the handle. Uh, feels really good. So this does have a, have a hex shank on it. Also no, no grip on the tip, but, uh, so you could get on it with a wrench if you absolutely needed to, but yeah, feels like a good screwdriver. We'll, we'll try it out. Um, not much. Not much about them online. They they sell them at retailers. I couldn't really find a website for them, but uh, yeah, it seemed like a good screw, screwdriver. So I thought, what the heck, we'll pick it up and see how it works. So, but yeah, this was my order from KC Tool. Like I said, I didn't order. They didn't have any of the Weha the ACOs, so I bought that off of uh, eBay. There was a ton of them. Oh, and I forgot something. Let's walk out to the scooter. Make a little detour here. I did forget something else came in, too. Walk back to the toolbox. Forgot about this. When I ordered the Phillips, I also ordered a flat. And I got to be honest, I only did that because it was blue. So, uh, yeah, uh, blue is hard. The black is rubbery. It is a, well, there's the specs. It's a 5.5 5 by 1.25. So it's a pretty long screwdriver. 
But what I liked about it was the tip wasn't any wider than the shank. So if you had a had a screw that was recessed in a hole, this would get down there. Unlike, let's take the wit for example. As you can see, the tip gets wide out, wider than the shank. So you couldn't a screw this size, you couldn't get down in a hole with this one. Same with like my snap-on screwdrivers. Same with those. Um, these vessel impact or yeah, the gear wrench and the craftsman, they are the same way you, the, sh the tip's not any wider than the shank. So I thought this would be kind of handy. Um, this handle is bigger than that Phillips. This one does not feel very comfortable. Um, but this isn't something I don't think that You'll be applying a huge amount of torque too, but uh, yeah. And this was these. This wasn't very expensive either. So uh, this is the Weha Pro Turn 3K. But uh, yeah, kind of a cool screwdriver. Again, bought it just because it was blue, blue toolbox, blue screwdriver. But yeah, um, we'll get this one. We'll try this one out and. Uh, should be should be a good, fine screwdriver. Uh, they did discontinue a while back. I don't know how long, but these uh, the ACOs or the, the ProTurn screwdriver. I don't think they make that anymore. So pick those up. Kind of sc cool screwdrivers. So like I said, I've got some more stuff coming in this week. Hopefully. Uh, we'll make a video about that. I got something really cool coming from Hazette. It's actually coming from Australia. So I think it, I checked the tracking this morning. It's in the U.S. now. So I'm hoping this week, said the 27th, but uh, hoping it's it's been in the U.S. It said since Thursday. So hopefully we will we'll see that this week. Do a video on that maybe next weekend. Pretty cool thing from Hazette. Got uh, something coming from Wera that's uh, pretty cool. Um, something else coming from Hodo. It's pretty neat. So, but yeah, we'll go over that stuff when that stuff or when those things arrive and uh, make a video about them, show them off a little bit to you guys. But uh, if you have any more questions about these screwdrivers, uh, just leave a comment. But uh, like I said, I got all these from KC Tool. Uh, I always thought, little side note, that you could buy stuff cheaper on Amazon or eBay. So I was price checking KC Tool with those two places. And by the time I bought <clears throat> all these screwdrivers, which I think was about, around $120 for all everything I bought from them, uh, then got the free shipping on top of that, I saved a lot of money versus buying the stuff on eBay. So... Uh, if you're ordering enough, I think it's best to go through a retailer like that, like Casey Tool, just because you can, they'll get you the free shipping. If you're just buying a couple things, by the time they throw their shipping on there, it's probably better or cheaper to buy it from like Amazon or eBay. But this order, being as big as it was, was a much better deal to go through them and uh, was really fast shipping. They're not too far south of me. They're just six and a half hours actually south of here down in Kansas City or by Kansas City so I think it took a couple days um through the post office so but yeah uh, if you have any more questions about these screwdrivers leave a comment otherwise we'll see you in the next video when we get the the next uh load of tools in see ya